right, people, it's me, King Human, and uh, sorry I didn't make a video last weekend. Uh, I'm kind of off my game. I buggered up my foot playing racquetball. Man, I went down on it, rolled it, swelled up like a, I, I don't know, if you guys ever had a, your foot or something swell up to the point where it feels like the skin is going to break on it. I mean, it's so tight. Anyway, I can't even get my shoe on. So I didn't make a video last week. I don't want to snivel bitch about this and cry. Ugh. But I just want to let you guys know. I'm not slacking. I'm still on the job. Still trying to get you guys on the right path. Because it's the new year. And you guys need to start getting in getting motivated for the new year you know this is the year you guys are going to do it right so before I get into this video on, on how to make money with e weird stuff on eBay before I go there I want to thank a few people oh they're kind of buried there I got a stack of cards you know um, birthday cards thank you guys for sending that um, and uh, Merry Atheist cards so cool on that and uh, thank everybody a uh, monkey mug guy I just got your card and every I'll have to make a whole video on that but anyway I wanted to get into this uh, you know how to make money with weird stuff on eBay now back in the day when I was doing eBay stuff I think I've talked about this uh, ad infinitum with it with you guys I mean as I'm looking across the room, over on the other side, I see a mummified head. I see a, a, just a bunch of stuff that I used to sell on eBay in the weird stuff category. Over here, I've got some that I used to do. Here's like a, an eyeball uh, that, you know, I think I used to buy these things for like five bucks. And I'd go to Ross. Uh, stores and you can buy these really cool boxes for like five bucks a piece and then I would put some Excelsior in the box and put this in there and then I'd make this whole story about it was the evil eye of the voodoo witch queen of whatever or the the Dr. Ping or whatever you know and it would be an attraction and I would sell this for you know ten bucks worth of parts and it cost cost me ten bucks I would sell them for 50 bucks all day long. Here's like a, um, here's like a, a little thing here. This is uh, like a, uh, a Tesla, what did I, what did I used to call these things? Tesla time transference device. Uh, I don't know if you could see it very well, but you know, it looks pretty cool in there and it, it would have like, UV colored water in there and all kinds of weird stuff and then I would have pictures of myself going back in time like I would have an old black and white picture of Lincoln giving a speech or something and I would be in the background you know eh, and of course it's all photoshopped and then uh, you know the aliens I sold the hell out of these aliens in a jar that's like five bucks worth of parts and these would sell for 50 bucks all day long finger in a jar even this finger in a jar sold like crazy just all kinds of stupid stuff like that weird stuff sells on ebay go check out that category in fact i want to go through it with you and show you a few things on in the weird stuff right now we'll walk through it and i'll show you a few things and we'll have a discussion about what's going on all right let's go do that right now and then booyakasha okay Okay guys, here we are on eBay and I came to the weird stuff section and I went into the advanced search and I'm searching under completed listings, highest price first. And of course, the first thing you come across are one of these stupid things like this singing Elvis potato chip. Real fresh, out of the bag, no reserve. Sold for 15,000 bucks. Look, go buy a... a bag of potato chips, give it to the kids, give them a magnifying glass, let them go sit out in the sun and burn in a bunch of different images of uh, Bigfoot and UFOs on potato chips, make a million bucks. Uh, anyway, stupid. 
but uh, this was interesting. I found this. Naming rights to the largest crater on Uingu Mars map. Sold for $2,020 with 52 bids. So I wanted to see what the hell this was about. So I came to the, to the auction to read about it. And basically, if you read it, which I encourage you guys to come do because this is genius. This guy started a, a new project called uh, Uwingu. I guess that's how you pronounce it, or Uwingu. I don't know. These people with their stupid names, you know, you don't know how to pronounce them half the time. Anyway, uh, he just decided to, to make this thing. They launched a successful, a fresh, fresh approach to funding space exploration and education by donating... 50% of every dollar earned to space exploration grants. So he came up with a crater naming project, which allows anyone to, in, to name the approximately 590,000 unnamed cataloged craters on Mars, starting at $5 each. Now, <laughs> who, you know, who gives this guy the right... To, to name these craters, you know, or claim that he, he has ownership and can resell the rights to naming these craters, it, it's, it's just nebulous. It's ether. It doesn't really exist. But because he made it look like something, people are doing it. I, I suspect a lot of people are doing it as a donation. But, you know... They're, they're donating 50% of every dollar. So if you came up with a similar business plan, you know, you could, if this place, if Mars has 590,000 craters, that's just one planet. Go pick out a bunch of other planets and Mars and do this same thing and have certificates and you know, with embossing and, and really nice, you know, I, boy, you know, if I wasn't so lazy, I could really run this into something and make it into something. Um, you know, you get a, a name guy like this doctor, what, who is this? Dr. Alan Stern of NASA, you know, um, you could, you could be basically get an endorsement from them, especially if you're giving them 50% of the proceeds. You know, this is like a fundraising thing. This is like those guys that call you up to, you know, donate money to the police fund. You know how much? They only give like maybe 1% to the police fund. These are these, uh, it's such a scam. It's uh, these boiler rooms. And they're not really authorized by any police or firemen's funds or leagues. They're not endorsed. They just go out and they do it. And they say, yes, we are we represent the police league, you know, and we're raising money for our police department. And they keep 99% of it and they give, you know, 10% or even 1% to the police department. It's such a scam. But, you know. There it is. I thought this was an interesting business model. Let's let's look at a couple of other things here on the weird section. And here we come to another stupid food item. A Cheeto giving the bird for a thousand bucks. Sold with one bid. Well, what is wrong with people? I don't understand. You know, I notice a lot of this stuff, this uh, S&M stuff, uh, inflatable blackout latex hood sold for 750 bucks with a buy it now. You notice a lot of this S&M stuff selling in the weird stuff on eBay. You guys know how easy it is to go find a wholesale supplier for this kind of merchandise. Get out there, get off your ass, go find a wholesaler. Try it out. In fact, let me, uh, well, you guys do it. I'm too lazy. Uh, okay, maybe not. You talked me into it. Let me click on this. We'll do a little experiment here. 
I want to see this guy's stuff. Okay, the, the easy way to do this, when you, when you go through here, like I say, you, you go to the weird stuff section and you go up to the advanced search up at the top right. You click on advanced search, then you click on completed listings, and then you sort by the highest price first, and you look for the items in green. If you come across something like this, a commercial item, not a one-of-a-kind thing, um, and you think, wow, you know, this guy got 750 bucks for this latex hood. I bet that's a cheap item I could get from a wholesale supplier. What I want you to do is click on his listing. Remember, this is a, a sold item. And, um, you know, check it out. He sold four of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on his other items. And this is going to give me a blueprint of other things that are selling well. This guy's obviously got a good business going. You know, here's a fake magnet, UV colored. Uh, he's selling them for $3.99. 264 of them sold. Actually, over 264 so when I go to my wholesale supply for this kind of crap, that's what I'm looking at. And I've got the blueprint of what sells right in front of me. You do this with 20, 30 different guys. Here's another thing. Uh, striped thigh-high nylon stockings, tw over 28 of them sold. And you know what the guy's selling them for. So you, when you go to your wholesale suppliers, you know what your profit margin's going to be before you even talk about anything you, there's zero risk in this you know right by looking at what somebody else is successful with and following that business model you know how much money you can make look at this a uh, fake nose lip belly tragus piercing silver hoop ring, bah, 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 over 66 sold um, slave collar choker over 19 sold see this thing i don't i wouldn't buy because i'm not seeing any sales but you know this thing right here body jewelry chain harness over 66 sold so i know that i can potentially make a profit all i have to do is go find the wholesale source for that and i'm in business you know this guy is not manufacturing these things he's buying them wholesale Here's a, a beginner rubber ball mouth gag. 114 sold, 15 bucks a piece. Come on, guys, get on this. All right, that's enough of me. My foot hurts. Leave me alone. Okay, you know, like I said, I'm off my game today. It's not the greatest video, but hopefully it gives you guys a few ideas, you know. Go through the weird stuff. Check it out, because there's money to be made there. All right, guys, I got to go. My foot's swelling up, and uh, I can feel it. Bye, Anara. Go donate a few bucks to help a sick kid. St. Jude's Research Hospital for Kids helps sick kids. Maximum respect. This year, get motivated and get off your ass. Bye, Anara.